Hey fam, kings and blessings. I pray everyone is doing good. Um, I know I be in my car a lot, but for real, y'all, my car is like my second home a little bit because this is just like my place where I can come and I can step aside and I can get some serenity. It's just something about it where it's just um quiet. It's a calm. Uh so I thank you for bearing with me. I don't have the whole get up. I don't have the whole setup. Maybe one day I'll be about that life. But right now, I just, you know, humbly come on here just to say what thus says the Lord. And what the spirit of the Lord brought me on here tonight to say to his people is God wants you to give it to him. He needs you to forgive. Let me tell you. On this journey, when you choose not to forgive, and that doesn't minimize, see, forgiveness does not minimize what the person did to you, what they did to your loved ones. It does not minimize the effect it had on you, the hook it had in you, the torment that it brought to you. It doesn't um, necessarily um, mean that what they did to you wasn't foul. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't underhand it wasn't betrayed i mean it's so many things that we can say but ultimately what's going to matter is the release of it we sometimes hold on to stuff that have us in so much bondage and the thing is you can sit there and spend days months years and you are stuck in bondage when a person has moved all the way on with their life one can be still sitting there stuck and unable to move forward and that's a trick of the enemy the enemy the enemy knows how to bring a counterfeit into your life and he's patient see the devil doesn't come and try to um deceive the people of god quickly he takes his time that way when he sets up that hit you go down you know just like in boxing when you know you 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 getting them licks in you know it's, it's basically if you get that KO, it's a beautiful thing. But if not, you typically have to wear out your opponent. And once they get weak enough, and if you keep your strength up, then that's when you defeat them. That's how it is with defeat and Satan. However, it can also be on the contrary, where he takes his time and he wears out the saints, the people of God. And the word of God tells us to be mindful of that, not to allow Satan to wear us out because he will do that intentionally to keep the people of God stagnant, to keep them stuck, to, to put them in a place where they feel like they can't trust in God, trust in his word, know that God is not a man where he should lie or the son of man where he should repent. God don't get down like that. God is mercy. God is grace. So that same mercy and grace that he gives us, we have to extend that to other people and we got to release them. Some people, we have to forgive people that will never be sorry for what they did. And the reality is a lot of people are straight narcissistic. So in their mind, they can immediately justify it, twist it, and put it on you. That's what they do. But guess what? Even in that, forgiveness has to come. Okay, I know how you are. I know where you are. I look at it this way. I'm going to be honest with you. I know it's demonic, but I'd be like, yo, they sick. People are sick. Like they're mentally sick. They're not there. And then people dump on you and they'll have you in, in a space that God never designed for you to be in for years on top of years on top of months. And some people even go to the grave with their heart tied up with unforgiveness in their heart, with bitterness, with resentment, because they chose not to be free because they couldn't release and the thing is, the, the beauty of it is greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. So we don't have to release it in our own strength. We get to go to God over and over again and ask God, God, help me. I need your help on this journey. I can't do this by myself. I need to let this go. Everything inside of me, unlike you, Lord God, I need you to deliver me from it, Lord God. I can't do it. I don't want to be this way. Deliver me from my wicked ways. Deliver me from the thoughts, Lord God, that are not in agreement with your word. Deliver me from every hindrance, close every door, Lord God, that has a path 
waiting for me to lead me down the path of destruction or to go to hell. God, I need you. Help me. Like, it, it's humble. You know how in the word it talks about the one that was like, oh, I'm the guy that was like, hey, I'm I, I, I'm glad I'm not like this. I'm glad I'm not like that. I'm glad I'm not a sinner. I'm glad, you know, I'm high and mighty. That's not the exact verbiage, but I'm saying though. And then you got the the alternative, the other one is saying, God, I'm a sinner. I know I need you. I know I'm in need of a savior. I know I'm messed up. God, please come, come in me, deliver me, set me free. I need you. I'm nothing without you. I'm a mess without you. God, help me on my journey. That right there, that God, I need that. We don't serve a God that knows our heart is really for him. And he just leaves us and so allow the devil to devour us. Now, we may put ourselves in situations where we face consequences. And God got to bring that hammer down on us, you know, but it's all in love because God chastens that one, you know what I'm saying, his child that he loves. So I always welcome the chastening of God. I welcome that correction. God, get me right because when that sky cracking, you come back, Lord, don't leave me here, God. Please don't leave me here. Don't leave my kids here, God. It's a cry. I think it's a cry. But when I tell you this, when the word, when Jeremiah said, when he wanted to sit still, he said, it's like the word is like fire shut up in my bones, baby. When you got it, when when God, that it hits different. You can't contain it. You can't keep it to yourself. If you want to sit in your room, oh, Lord Jesus, I'm so sorry, y'all. If I want to sit in my room in depression or being sad, guess what? I can't do that. You know why I cannot do that? Because God hand is on me. The only reason I can't do that is because he keep me, you know, like, and bring me back over and over and over again and time and time again. And trust me, I'm probably the weakest of the weakest of the saints. God got you. He got me. He got us individually and collectively. All right. Sorry. My phone's trash too. We're working through some things, but that's either here nor there. I love y'all. God bless.